Hey, Auburn High School students. This is Mr. Gardner, and I know I'm interrupting your lunch right now, but maybe your teachers will show this during your uh, Troy time. So one thing I've noticed recently when I've gone out to restaurants and uh, places to eat is you show up and, and usually I'm like looking for a menu and there is no menu. And then I slowly realize, yeah, you're still living in the COVID world. So a lot of the menus are posted around tables or around the countertops when you walk into restaurants and you take your phone and you scan and then you got your menu. And then some of the restaurants that really have it figured out, they actually do your ordering on, on um, your phone, which is pretty cool. So that way it keeps their server safe and all those kind of things. Um, I'm coming at you today with a do-it-yourself scanning of your lunch QR codes. We've got QR codes all around the school. As you know, we've opened up the school to places where you can eat. You can eat in the commons, which is the most common place to eat. And you can also eat out in the courtyards. Uh, those tend to be the most popular places. But we also have uh, seating areas along the count or along the, uh, the windows by our Auburn Cafe. We also have some quiet eating areas, and then some of our hallways are actually being used during different lunches. So you've got a wide variety of places to find a, a suitable place to eat. And then after you've had your food, you know, you clean up your area. If you want to go out in the courtyard, walk around, you can do that. That's great. Um, but really, the purpose of today's video is to show you exactly how to scan your QR code. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through this. First thing you need is you need a phone. Okay, you got to have that. And if you don't have a phone, your friends at lunch, or if you forgot your phone, your friends at lunch can definitely help you with this. You can do it more than once during a lunch. So if I'm sitting with three of my friends, they all forgot their, their phones, I'm going to make sure I help them out because it's really important. And here's the important part, that if we do have up any... Um, reports of COVID in the building. Obviously that's gonna come from a person. Let's say it's me um, and I can say, hey, I wasn't doing any contact tracing and pretty much I won't be able to figure out, you know, what people I may have, you know, potentially affected. Um, doesn't mean I affected them just cause I'm around them. But if I've got the information in my phone and I've hit send or, or um, save, uh, the school's cataloging all that, and underneath my name, they can say, see where I've been every single day. So that's really important for lunch. Your teachers are doing assigned seating for the same reasons. Um, I just learned today, today is uh, Tuesday, uh, September 14th. I just learned from a friend who flies all around the country, does all kinds of uh, business trainings, and he said there's actually schools back on the East Coast and down South that are returning to distance learning because they weren't doing some of the things that we're doing up here in Washington state. So we've been really good with our masks, continue doing that. Our distancing as good as it can be, you know, in a large school, but the masks are gonna be really big and showing up to school when you feel well and then staying home when you have symptoms just to be careful is, is important. Okay, let's get to the contact tracing piece, um, making sure we're scanning our QR code. So I'm gonna flip to the next screen and that is a typical QR code. So. If, if I'm gonna sit at this area, whether I'm sitting in a hallway or at a table, I'm gonna turn on my app for my camera. You can see that's me and the camera, and I'm gonna turn it this way. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna frame up that QR code. And what happens is, is I get something that looks like this, um, which is, they call it the website QR code. I'll flip to the next slide. Um, you'll see something that looks like this. So this is actually a picture off my phone. That's a QR code that I'm scanning with my camera app. And then you'll see this up here, okay? And all you'll do is you'll just touch it. You just touch it. And then what it does, it gives you this screen, which I have on my next slide. And it looks like this. It just says lunch seating. Please complete the following questions. That's me. Um, for my last name, Gardner, my first name is Jeff. I'm gonna rep lunch B today. Um, that's the lunch I'm going to say I was at. And then the table number was 178. I don't need to include the zero. If you do, it's okay. And then I just click submit. Done. Okay. Now that might have taken me all of about 30 seconds. Seriously, maybe 45 seconds because I don't type as fast as you guys do. And then you can do it for a friend or another friend or even a third friend. You shouldn't be doing it more than three friends because remember, we're sitting at four to a table. So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope it'll get you to do this more. I don't want to shut down. I like school too much and I like it a lot better than how much I don't like wearing masks and distancing. So keep up the good work. I hope this is helpful for it, helpful for you. And uh,
like I said, Auburn, let's keep up the good work and let's make sure we're doing the contact tracing pieces by scanning our QR codes every single day. Thank you.